Charlie Boy announced his collaboration with Faust to tackle fake pastors. He announced the collaboration with Faust on Sunday on his Twitter page. He tweeted, every age has its pseudo problems created by its fake prophets and pseudo philosophers. Fake pastors, watch out. Pastor Charles and Brother Faust coming soon. End of quote. He also shared some pictures of himself and Faust holding the Holy Bible, a rosary, and a cross. <clears throat> I can't wait for it to I mean, <laughs> I can't it. wait. I know that he's going to kill it. Mm -hmm. and Charlie I mean, Charlie Boy, Boy is yeah. drama too, so I, I can't really can't wait. wait for it. And you know, this fake pastor thing is really becoming so rampant, and it's good that somebody is finally addressing it mm. because you know people just talk about it and let it go. And I like that. I, I can't. I can't just wait for it to drop because I know that pastors really shake table and break table, and you know, I can't wait. I like the fact that he made reference to pseudo problems that are be actually caused by all these fake pastors because um, they are the ones that would see things in your life that are not even there. So, <laughs> do you understand? They're the ones that will see things about the nation and then there's something, there's a saying that says there's power in the tongue. Whatever somebody prophesies into your life, even though that's not the truth, every, every problem you begin to... It begins to attribute. affect your mindset. Yeah. yeah, you begin to attribute it to, ah, that's what the pastor said, or that's what the pastor said. So I think it's a good thing that they're tackling this fake pastor. Are you talking from experience? What? <laughs> No, I'm not talking from experience because I'm not so much of a religious type. So I don't think okay. any pastor can come and deceive me now and be telling me I have a problem I don't have. I mm. don't know. I know when I have a problem mm -hmm. and I tackle my problem myself. I'm a realist. So if I have a problem, I know. I don't have solo problems. <laughs> Do you understand? I have, if, yeah, yeah. I know my problems. Do you understand? And I tackle my problems. I'm my glad own. you know your problems. And That's sometimes, the first step and sometimes, it. and sometimes I really do not care about what people think about my problems. As mm. long as I'm, I'm handling it the right way that I think, okay, this is the best way. It's not going to go away all of a sudden. Mm. So I need to work, it's a gradual process, do you understand? But people think, okay, when you have a problem, it must go away to day to day. No, it can't. It's a it's a step-by-step -step stop. Mm. And most of these problems are pseudo or people's opinions about you, do you understand? And like Pete said, if you begin to listen to people's opinions or the problems people have with your personality, then you're just reducing your lifespan. So I think you don't know Koseni Tomola, you understand me? So <laughs> This is so deep, for effect is speaking about that. Koseni Tomola, you understand? So whatever Koseni problem... Koseni Tomola. Yeah. What's Koseni Tomola? Koseni Tomola. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Before we pour you this tea. Do you understand? So if you have a problem with anyone's personality, you need to take it up with yourself and not the person because it's called personality. It is me. It's not you. So if you have a problem with it, avoid me. If uh, I think brother Faust and Pastor Charlie Bush will add you on the table so you can you be brother if uh... Avoid me mm -hmm. instead of trying to point out my problem because they say remove the log from your own eye before you begin to remove the peg from But sometimes you know eye. people need to help you point out your problems yeah. for you to know. Yeah, how but to that's what I'm saying that I'm not the type to be ignorant to my problems. Okay. I know my problems. Um, yes. Do you understand? Yes, <laughs> Do you understand? I know, see, I'm the type of person that sometimes I need validation, not because it's important just because I need to learn. Sometimes I pick up unnecessary arguments not because I do not know the right part of the argument or the, the right no or, or the right result. No, because I want problem. to learn. Okay, now let me let me give you If you know the right thing, why are you picking on the wrong side just no, to learn? No, what no, else no, are you no, learning? No, let me let me explain. I said I pick on argument. I'm not picking on you. I'm picking on certain argument because I want to get your point of view. I want to get your take. And whatever you say, I learn from it. Whatever is not useful to me, I keep it aside. Do you understand? And I think a lot of people should emulate that. Because all right, let's bring it back to this story. Let's bring it back to mm -hmm. this story now. And for the fake pastors and all of that, causing all this um, commotion in Nigeria, telling us things wow. that are not going on and, all that, and telling us all this rubbish, please. But our fathers and Charles would like to hear what you say on the song. And oh, after we listen Pastor to the song. Charles. Brother Files. Okay, Brother Files and Pastor Charles. Yeah. Please mm -hmm. come and sing this song for us and let us hear. When is it dropping? How do you know the song? What if it's a movie? Movie, you know. 
Just and something for me soon. It's song, it's a collaboration. All right, I'm, I'm know, looking forward know, to whatever. We know the both mm, of them because to be active. People really, a lot of people really need to get enlightened. I mean, they, they said that one of our problems in this part of the world is religion because mm. people believe too much in That's the new slavery. Prophets. You, you know what I mean? People believe I think so people, much people in worship prophets. their pastors maybe more than God these days. Mm. It's because mm. God is not moving like a Madi or Amen. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> it's Twitter. Twitter has ruined my life. <laughs> yeah, go back to your village. <laughs> so, like, I can't wait. I, I hope that they touch on... I don't, you know, we don't know what angle they are going to look at it from, but I really hope that they touch on um, individuals themselves. Let's leave the pastor aside. You yourself. I mean... <laughs> Is your life being True, controlled? Should be able to ask questions. Yeah. If I mean, people, a lot of people were brought up not asking questions, even mm. in their, in their, to, to not ask questions, even in their home. Like, if your mom says this, that's the final. Your dad says this, that's the final. So the any, if an me. elderly mm. person tells you this cop has to be this way, this way, this way, you don't want to ask questions because that person is, even if he's a year older than you, they've said it, that's how it is. And most of these people even talk from a very ignorant place or what they have imagined in their head. And mm. thank God we are seeing it playing on social media now. How someone can sit down and imagine right story of someone they've never met in their life mm. and tell you that is what it is you know so it's we just need to start ask, asking questions you cannot just take everything hook line mm. sink and also research read find out for yourself yeah you, you are a human really, being for I, a reason i really like files and um charlie boy, charlie boy to pastor touch charles on, sorry, pastor charles and, and brother, and um, and brother files. Files mm -hmm. to touch on individuals themselves because if nobody's patronizing these pastors these fake pastors they'll drop their coats and find something else to do uh, they'll go to other places that people see religion like you said is the new slavery mm. Mm.